Hey guys and gals, let's build the Lunar New Year Parade by Lego, set number 80111. And this has roughly, I believe, 1,653 bricks. And this is the Chinese Festival Special Edition. Alright, so this is basically like a float. It comes in three manuals. And this is for collaborative build. We're on the box here. It says build together, so it's broken down in such a way that you can have each member of your group build a portion of this. So everything's divided out perfectly, and everything is individual bags, so that's pretty cool. But what we're going to be focusing on is booklet number one. So put those off to the side here, and I like to see these collaborative builds, they're pretty cool. So, pretty cool. Some nice artwork right there. So, basically that's what we're doing. Okay. So, yeah, they're really they're really enforcing this with the three uh, more people could build and stuff. So, we're going to be building the uh, the first portion of the bill already got the bricks keyed up. I hope I don't have these confused because I was doing the thumbnail and you know how that goes. <laughs> so I believe that booklet number one just builds this this right here. All right, so let's uh, let's get going. Let's let's build it. Oh, before we do though, we got to look at the boring stuff. So you get the stickers. And this. Okay, so put those in the manual. Might need them later on. And we're going to spend probably about 20 minutes building minifigures. So this will be broken down into three installments. And the reason why I'm breaking them down into, you know, installments like that is just to keep it with the manuals and such. So yeah, if you've got a group of people who like to build with Lego bricks, there you go. They can each um, have their own, boy that head's kind of stiff, their own little manual and they can build whatever part they want. Ooh, the, the flippy hair. <laughs> what is that now? That's so 2000s now. I think everybody's had that hairstyle, especially as, even back in the 80s it was still a thing. And let's see, I need a dumb uh, uh, a barbell and a light sword. This set here's got a lot of uh, very unique pieces. So I think we're gonna need that vinyl sheet after all here. So does it tell me what number? It tells me number three. And they're just perforated, so you just pop them out of there. I like this vinyl stuff better than paper, because it will last a lot longer. Alrighty. So, it's only one-sided. Tells me to do this. Huh. Shows the flange here, but it doesn't show the flange anymore. I'll show you. See that? So, I don't know. That doesn't make any sense to me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just do this. Let me see here. Yeah, this does... Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. It goes like this. And you have to tuck it around. Okay. Now we need to find ourselves a... Looks like a gold stud hollow stud. So I'm already, I, I'm just doing minifigures right now. I'm already having problems. <laughs> I have been swamped with doing Lego reviews. My goodness. I want to get into mock building now while I have time off. I don't want to wait until I go back to work and then that's it. The mock stuff ends. And then that's, it is what it is. So this is like a little flag. He can hold on to. 
you know, no one has bothered me all day. And usually when I start doing the Lego stuff, that's when the doorbells are ringing, the phone chimes, and well, the other way around. Okay, so here's something. They have them on one of these stands here. Here's I thought these were costume heads. That they would go over the minifigure heads? No. These are just, you have to take the head off to put these on. I thought, wouldn't they just make that fit right over the minifigure head? I thought that would be cool if they did that. Well, they didn't. So we actually have a stand on this guy. And he holds this, this mask here. These are really cool. I wish they'd make more of those. They look like little marshmallows, but there you go. And that's printed, too. All right. So I got him out of the way. And I'll do another one. So we've got to do uh, another person here. So, yeah, it's pretty much all minifigures at this point in the build right now. We haven't got any of the big stuff yet. Usually Lego has to get all the boring stuff out of the way. And I know there's some out there who just love putting together minifigures. To me, it's the most boring thing because I want to build with bricks. I'm a mock builder. I'm not a novelty person. I don't like collecting minifigures. Some people, I, I remember I was in this Lego community before they booted me out because I always went off topic. Um, they would just literally sit there for literally hours talking about a single minifigure. And I'm just like, at the end of the at the end of the thing, I'm like, dude, it's just a, it's just a toy. <laughs> this is just for fun, you know. I mean, this guy says, well, yeah, I take this stuff seriously, and I'm just like, oh, don't get into computer programming. You'll really go take that serious, you know. And the next time I went in there, uh, uh, said I was removed from their group and I was blocked. So <laughs> I was like, oh, I must have ruffled up some feathers. Some people don't like honesty, or they just like. I can't. I can't do it. That's why. I, that's one of the reasons why I don't ever join any more Lego streams or anything. I don't go in anybody else's stream unless if it's Lego, I avoid it. You know, I don't. I don't join any more Lego streams. I got tired of getting blocked, or you're going off topic, or you know, you go into a Lego stream and half the time the host has got co-host on their thing and they just ignore the chat room. So it's like, why bother? Okay. So she's done. Oh no, not she's not done yet. I got to give her a mask. Pretty cool. This is what they do in China. It's a really cool little parade set. So you, if you need a parade in your city, obviously this looks like it will have you covered. Okay. Now we can do the fun stuff, the stuff that I want to do. All right. So. Y'all know me, I like to build big things, not gawk over a little minifigure for 20 minutes. <laughs> so we'll see how fast we can do this here. Um, I Right now, I just got done with proofing another build. I can't talk about it because I don't know when it'll be released. I just build as I go. And I'm doing this one, so I'm doing pretty much builds back-to-back -back every day. Um, some sets that I'm that I'm getting are probably like a hundred maybe 200 pieces those are really easy to do when you get stuff like this it really has like over a thousand they take days to get done and especially I'm doing this stuff by myself so I don't have a staff or anybody willing to help unless you uh, give them something to inhale digest or drink They'll be interested, but all right. So we'll see how this float goes here. I hate when we start with something and we're using mostly small pieces, as you have to rifle through all the big stuff. Okay, it looks like we're going to have some kind of uh, movement with this. So, let's see here. 
Oh, brittle brown. I can just see that shattering. Got to be careful. That may break if I shove that in there. We'll take the cog and stick that on the other end there. And just kind of loosen up it. I want to make sure. So I always make sure I give it a little bit of play here. And then we got to shove it in here. Matter of fact, that doesn't want to go in at all. There we go. And it tightened up again. I don't want it to be too tight. So I think you're supposed to roll this on the ground and it's supposed to do some weird stuff. I don't know. I just started. <laughs> All right. So. I'm looking for a gold shaft. And this goes here. The, the flange goes on that side. So we'll see how this goes here. I'll we'll see if this is a if this is something fun or it looks fun. I went through the I went through the brick exploration of it, unboxed it and stuff and this set's got a lot of good parts. So that's a that's a good that's a good sign. All right. It tells you right here how it's supposed to be laid out. So always pay attention to those because of the gears. We're going to be using a bevel gear. So I want the bevel towards the back. And we're just going to slide that in. Uh, provided if I can get it on there. But I always want to make sure it's really loose. I don't want that stuff really stiff. And then... And yes, if you hear lawn mowers, yeah, we still have lawn mower in it lawn mowing going on in December. <laughs> it's like spring, summer, fall here every day. It's, it's, it is what it is. All right. There we go. And that goes there. So this must right on the ground. So I'm sure there's probably some wheels that this thing's also going to be riding on here. Let me snug this up a little bit. Just enough for it to work. So I think this thing's supposed to do this. Plus we also got it geared down, so it's a little slower. And this goes on the other side here. Now I'm just working that in very slow, and then I can just pop that in place. Make sure it still works. There we go. Okay, flip it over. Well, that doesn't go there. <laughs> Although it does fit there, it doesn't. It's not where it's supposed to go in the book. So yeah, I'm gonna try to get as many reviews done as I can. I'd like to start building another house or a restaurant. I'd like to get into modulars. Um, this right here is kind of like you know being stifled because you, you all know how I am I like to free build and I, I mean, like like that campground I was supposed to build I hadn't even started it yet I was gonna have a lot of free time this winter uh, probably not <laughs> with the uh, with all the set reviews that's why a lot of the guys who do the the reviews they, they go from mocks tutorials next thing you know they switch to strictly reviews because this is a canned build I don't have to think I can just build from the book I don't have to really do anything. I can just and just get it done. Yep. And Christmas is almost here too. For anybody who celebrates it. Alright. So that's not a bad frame. It's almost like a train car. And we're still building upside down. <laughs> All right, I see. We're gonna have to put some of these in. I think these are the wheels. You think they'd have something more more traction on these than that, but I think they're just meant to just slide. So I'm gonna try to get this set done in three installments, uh, just to. As I just got another load in the other day, like another four boxes to do of sets. And that's a lot of stuff to review. 
So I got to get those done. Oh, we're going to have to hold underneath now. Must be the little the, the skirt that goes around. Not sure why we had those in there for. Maybe just the spacers to know where that goes. Whoops, that doesn't go there. And yep, it's still warm here. Some people are getting snowed in for the holidays. Oh, not here. We're getting. Matter of fact, my air flipped on a couple of days ago. I was like, oh, wow. Oh. Oh, this is quite flat. But you can see the gears move. Now, I wouldn't still press down on this thing. You can just make sure you rock it in such a way that you can do that. Um, you see, I'm having a hard time keeping things. Sometimes I just have to hold it and just do that. See, if I had another person help me do this, would be cool. Then I can just... I, we could all get this done in one day real quick. So, this side here has got this one here, and the gray goes on that side. I don't think it really matters which way these go. I think they're just color indicators, so we know which way is the front and back. I've seen Lego do that more in the, in the, the advanced sets. Okay. Yeah, basic bricks in a set like this. <laughs> yeah. You know, I still wish I could play music in these things. Uh, some musicians, they want you to pay a fortune to use your mu their music in your videos. There was one, that, there was a song I wanted to use and one of my, to do a, start doing speed builds, and these are falling off. And this guy wanted to claim 100% rights to my video. And, <laughs> no, <laughs> I was like, no, so I ended up deleting the video and just put some scenic sounds in there, or tried to anyways, and I thought, oh no, we're not going to play that game. See how this thing's starting to fall apart? It's kind of flaky right now, so we're hoping it'll strengthen up here in a bit. Don't forget your uh, one by one tiles here. And then, see, these are just coming up. Every time I press down on it, it just comes up. It, it's not really uh, user-friendly, but hey, if LEGO can do that, I guess I can do that in my uh, builds. All right. All right, we got to stick some 3x3s three three in here. I think it'll strengthen up once we get the skirt around it. At least it's big parts now. It's not really tiny stuff. Maybe this may go fast after all. <laughs> Maybe it'll go fast, but we don't know. I haven't finished it yet. Just Actually, this is the fullest bin that I have. So, Okay, we got some Technic to put in there. So, yeah. And I need a bushing. I try to show you all the steps possible. Sometimes I get a little sloppy. I mean, when I go back through and edit these to proof them and stuff, I've noticed that. Okay, this actually goes in one of these holes here in the gear. So I guess this thing just does this. We've got a nice oscillator. Okay. Okay. I don't know what the age range of this set is. Let me look here at the box. It is 8 plus. So this is meant for 8 year olds. So that means it'll be extra tough for an adult, right? 
be extra hard for us. Wait a minute, hold on. Oh wait, I gotta put some more down here. Yeah, this is gonna get pretty strict sturdy because we're gonna start strengthening this up pretty quick here. There we go. And medium zerb brick right in the middle there, just randomly sticking in there. Alright. Wow, look at this. <laughs> Big bricks. Something we don't see in modern sets anymore. Maybe that's why it is for eight-year-olds, huh? But what it is, it looks pretty complicated. And this goes like that. I mean, that's what the manual shows there. All right. Oh, we're already 25% done with the build though so far on this. Pretty cool. All right, we're gonna be working here. Yeah, you know, I hate when you're off from work and stuff and you're trying to relax. And next thing you know, you got other people asking you to do things for them. And I'm like, you know, I need some time to cool off. And they're like, well, you got plenty of time to do that. I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> These are the same guys that get their vacation time and all that stuff. I'm like, no, you, you don't understand. I need a cool down. Um, you know. Usually, sometimes it's like involving getting in front of the computer. I'm like, if it's not a video game, I don't even want to look at it. Uh, I'm sorry, but uh, I want to just, I just want to not think or anything. <laughs> you know? I don't want to think. I just want to do. All right. I hope I don't have some of these bags mixed up because uh, when I was doing the thumbnail, you know how that goes. Okay, and the slopes go around it. Yeah, this is more like a summer set than anything else. I see this being built like summertime, like you get done swimming in the pool. And just kind of chilling out, cooling down a little bit. I really don't see this being built in the winter. I think it's the colors that just make it feel summery, like a summer, like a summer theme. I like these one by three by one wall elements are pretty cool. At least the stuff now is a little more secured. That one just did not want to go in. Alrighty. Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on here. So, make sure I put these clips in the right way. They gotta run like this, along with that. I'm showing you that because I do make mistakes from time to time with that as well and yeah I really just sh like I just did that I just wanted to show you and I'm working my way from in here out to the front but yeah this is a really good base if you want to make your own floats I think this sets this set here would be a good inspiration for that and so far it is enjoyable. I'm not pulling my hair out or screaming or anything like that. So that's that's a good thing. It's so far the stuff Lego has been sending me has been pretty pretty decent so far and in, in terms of retention, you know, bu the build experience. How's the build experience? Some people laugh at me when I say, "Well, how is your build experience?" They go like, "What do you mean by that?" I'm like, "Well, you know, was it a great build? Was it a sour build? You know, I've done both. I've done sour builds and good builds. Oh, I never thought about that. I'm like, well, when you do your reviews, you got to tell me what your experience is. You know, you know, is it something that you can recall a story or something from, or is it just a set that you want to just hurry up, build, and get it done? All right, so this one's here. I'm going to drop this in here first and put these down because it's easy for me. Because it's in, they want you to do that. But I'm not going to do that because I just really do this anyways. Ok, 
Okay. Okay, we got some rails here we got to put along the sides. All right, so now we're really starting to decorate this up now. Let's just put this big one over here. Well, that doesn't go like that. <laughs> I'm so used to offsetting things, as I don't like having joints over joints like that. Like the, the joints lining up. <sighs> Alrighty, there we go. Well, it only told me to put it on one side. Like, I wasn't supposed to jump ahead, huh? Well, well, well it's too late now. <laughs> I already did that step, so. Alright. These round plates go in here. And then, um, on the front here, make sure this is here, and then we got to face this off here. So so far, even if we just started, I'm pleased. I'm not. This is going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to see what it looks like when it is done. I wish I still could do these live, though. I mean, I could do them on the on the day that they're released, but then again, I have to get the reviews done on those days too, and it's nearly impossible. I don't want to make this like a marathon trying to cram it in and get it done. That's just too brutal for me. Well, that doesn't look good there, but that's how it is. I thought, well, that's really off-centered, but no, look at the manual. It's like that there too, so I don't think it matters. I thought I'd made a boob. I was like looking at it thinking... Shouldn't that be pushed in a little bit? But no, that's how they did it. So if you see it's like this, no, that's uh, that's the manual there. <laughs> that's uh, what they want. And that's it for bag one. And this is what remains here. Okay, so we're going to move on to bag two. We got minifigures and more stuff for the float. Oh, there's something we forgot. This one's not as full, but it's obviously full of small stuff, so that's going to take a little more time there. Okay, let's build our minifigures. Well, if we find parts for figures, I'll just pull them out. I'm looking for torsos. Looks like those are hidden right now. Is this the... Okay. Okay, I found the right head. This is a double-sided head too. I'll show you here in a second. So she's smiling. She's got her mouth wide, wide open like she's surprised. So she's got this really weird, you know, I don't know. I call it a hippie beanie. <laughs> and she's got a book. And then we got to put a sticker on something. So that didn't take too long. I don't mind putting stickers on these. So, somebody had asked me, Jay, you understand, I think, you understand Japanese, how do you read this? I'm like, uh, I can't really read that. I'm like, why? I said, because it's, it's either Chinese or Korean. Oh, I thought you can read that. I'm like, no, <laughs> I can't. <laughs> And my uh, Japanese is very, very, very basic. I mean, I only understand the basic stuff. So she's done. That's what she looks like there. So I got the child done, but I've still got a lot of stickers left. But I haven't got the adult done yet. I found the wig. Well, here's the legs. I think I may have the wrong... No, I don't have the wrong torso. They both have the same torso. Okay. And 
I think somebody's coming up to my door. You're kidding me, right? Every time I do Lego stuff, there's always somebody that comes up to the door. It cannot be avoided, guys and gals. I may have to stop here. At least it's a video I can stop whenever I want, huh? And then come back and continue later on. Yeah, that's exactly what it is. So, uh, I gotta stop here for a bit. Uh, we'll resume back shortly. Okay, and I'm back with being annoyed from a salesman. Uh, they just come knocking at the door, and I'm like, really? They wanted to sell me something, and I said, are you serious? Yeah, we're gonna here to save you money. I said, oh, okay. Why don't you just pay all my bills off while I don't you? <laughs> save me some time. Okay, so um, yeah, I just don't understand why people bother you. Okay, if it was a friend or something, it wouldn't have been that bad. Maybe I can coax them in to help me do this. I, I believe both sides of this thing are, are equal, so I'm just going to go ahead and keep it like that. And I'm just going to work on both sides real quick. It'll make it go faster instead of doing one at a time. Now, if you don't want to do that, you do not have to do that at all. This steps, this thing's got a lot of steps in it right now, so, um, so this is what we're doing here. So I've got to clear the wheels and yeah. Where I put those in there, the next things are these. And they just hang over the top. I thought, that doesn't make any sense, but no, they hang on the top like that. So we're not sure. You can always look ahead in the manual and make sure. Sometimes the very first step that tells you to put those in there, it doesn't really make any sense. So, there we go. And the next thing is corner tiles. I can't wait to see this this guy here done, huh? All right, get myself comfortable here. This is going to be a long build. <laughs> yeah, what? If you've ever watched some of these, you probably know sometimes I get my stories mixed up on here because these are filmed different times. Like I'll have one, I'll talk about a topic, talking about something being finished, and then later on you'll hear me talk about it just started. <laughs> it's just how these are. Um, you know, I just just get the sets done. I'm not. I don't release sets in certain numerical orders. Just because they are embargoed, and I can't just do that. So, so we're really, we're really making this look fancy here. This is really fancy too. I mean, this is um, really just fixed up here. Hope you can see that. Well, not really, but I got to see it too to put the parts on. So there's going to be that compromise. Okay, and there's two clips running this way at the bottom. So there is a lot of little pieces on here. I mean, I don't even know if an eight-year-old could do all this. If he or she is, you know, pretty uh, patient, you could. You know, they could. I mean, if somebody like myself can do this, I know they can easily do it. All right. Alright, and I think the other side is the same thing. So see, we're speeding up through it. I'm going to blast right through this because there's no need to just do that here. So I'm just doing a step here and just filling things in and getting it done. And there goes Discord. I thought I had that turned down, so you'll be hearing that for a while. Well, let me turn that off. I'd advertise Discord here, but 
I mean, if you know it's called Let's Build It, you can join it if you want. Uh, you can talk to me there, ask me questions. Alrighty, so far so good. And we got to add uh, the next step is kind of confusing. Now we got to go up and down on these here, going up like this. So you got to do that. And then you got to take two quarter rounds, shove them there. And uh, we got to do this. So oh, that looks pretty fancy. Looks really good. I like the gold and the and the green blue. Okay, we'll do that one there. And uh, yeah, you may hear some background noise. I have the windows cracked open. You know, <laughs> in December, you know, a lot of people don't do that out here. We, yeah, it's. It's warm. See that or run the air, which I'm not going to do right now. Yeah, this thing doesn't quite sit flat. You just have to deal with it. I have a film we're going to be building this thing up pretty good, and I think there's going to be stickers on it too. Um, there we go. And that's it. And we got a couple more things we got to add to it here. Some more of these here. Um, okay, right there. And then we'll clear those wheels too. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. This one's rounded at the front like this. So, see, now things are a little different than what I thought. And then here, there's a lot of little pieces. So, what I'm going to do real quick is I'm just going to put this one back over here. Okay, and then we're just going to we're just going to reflect it over here real fast. Okay, there's a lot, lots and lots and lots of little pieces. You're going to be you're going to be putting a lot of little pieces until the cows come home, pretty much. So that's exactly what you're doing here. Here. Hmm, that one doesn't want to go in. <laughs> getting a little frustrated there yeah so if you're not really into a lot of these little pieces uh, this may not be for you I always say that because I'm not really a, a person that likes doing little pieces if you look at all my mocks it's usually I try to stick with bigger parts you know little pieces are good for details but, but uh, it gets a little a little old after a while all right now we got to do the other side here. The same thing. I hope <laughs> it looked like it was, but I can make it. I'm known to be wrong. There we go. Okay. Alrighty, there you go. Um, we're still on that one side. <laughs> yeah, and then we rotate and we start all over again. Yeah, I mean, they really are. A, this is really, this is really involved. And then here is just some of these things. It kind of goes up like this. So these are just tacked in there. At least it's all nice and it's all finished off. It's not sloppy or anything. And I think that's it. And let's go ahead and let's just do the other side real quick. Just to get it done. So... Um, There we go, and we've got a couple of these. OK, 
Yeah, they go like that. I'm making sure I'm doing them right here. It's just to give it more of a built three-dimensional look here, which is really cool. I'm like all into detail on my stuff. I just don't like all the little tiles. So that's what it looks like right there. And after we're done with that, I'm going to rotate it again. And then we got to stick two scrolly things and some golden hot dogs. You heard me correctly, golden hot dogs. So the golden hot dogs, we're going to put these in first. And they go right here. And we're just going to swing them forward. So how did I do that here? Um, I'm going to make sure that's really pushed in there. And what I did was I can find another... Another hot dog here. Just shove it in like this. These are put it in that way right there. And then I'm just going to hinge that up. Okay. And that's how that's what it looks like in the picture. And then they use these scrolly things here. And you can just do it like that. Okay. I believe it's how it goes in here doesn't really show, so I'm just assuming that. It doesn't show that the hot dog goes under, I think it just goes under. It's not going to fit in there all the way. So I just shove this in and just swing it in place. So that's what it's supposed to look like right there. A little happy face. It looks really nice actually. Then we've got to do the same thing over here real quick too. And yes, I could always use these food pieces, you know, if they're gold. Who doesn't like having gold hot dogs for lunch? Uh, <laughs> yeah, put that right in there. And swing that right in place. There you go. And then these scrolly things. And you can see it's taken a long time for me to do all the details. Details take a long time to do. That's just how it is with some of this Lego stuff. It's like the hot dogs are kind of preventing me from uh, moving that down there, but there you go. And you can see rotate it start again. So I'm going to go back through this, make sure my predictions were correct. So I just saved myself a bunch of time. <laughs> All right, then we got to build it like that now. And after we're done there, we can proceed on with the build. So we're working on this side here. We're just going to take a couple of these, shove these right in here. Gives it a nice rounded contour at the rear. All right. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier if you if you read ahead and you just check. Like some things, you just kind of know what you're doing and you just do it. Goes right there. Oh, you gotta be careful holding on to this too. I can see those coming right off. Yeah, this set does indeed have a lot of bright colors, so if you're scared of bright colors. <laughs> Alright, so we got one of these here, but I'm gonna check and make sure if that's not a mirror or not, because if it is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do that. And uh, it appears that it is not a mirror. No, so it's a single one. Whoa! <laughs> Almost knocked you over there, huh? Okay, got a little excited. All right. See if we can blast through this real quick. Yeah, after a while doing these big sets, one after another is just, uh, you know, I really want to, like I have a bunch of tutorials I was hoping to film this year, and, you know, um, okay, I see what they're doing here. All right. 
just take some of these one by four bricks with the four studs, set that in there, and there's two of them they're facing away from each other. And then we'll just set some of these in here. I mean, that doesn't go that way. All right, and then but I saw a sticker symbol in here, so we put in stickers on this. I don't know when though. Okay, and a Technic brick and this thing here. Okay. Actually, it'd be easy if I built it here. There's an inset here that tells you to build this little thing, but I just thought, well, I'll just build it here. It'd be faster. And then we use some headlight bricks and a radiator grill. We'll slap that right on the front. Maybe this is the engine. We don't know. It's kind of odd, this, all this bright color, and all of a sudden we're using gray. So I don't, really don't know. And... Right. Okay, so some one by does anything go there? Oh yeah, one by or two by two. It's like well, how are we gonna do that? It's gonna fall through. No, I just gotta put some those in there and put some two by twos in here. Yeah, so far it's looking pretty good. And I mean, it's all about the details, huh? Okay. Okay. Yep, there's that vomit color. <laughs> Sand yellow, it just looks like puke. Okay, so you got to do some decorations on this side here. So what I'm going to do is stick. Oh, at least these don't have stickers on them. I hope they don't. So you stick those there, and then you do it like that. Well, provide I can get that on there correctly, and this one's being stubborn. It just refuses to go on there. All right, we'll work on that side. That one wasn't too bad. Okay, and we have some more arches here. This is a wave to go surfing on. It's almost like some minifigure can stand inside that. Oh no, it's actually going to get finished off there too. I forgot to put those in there before. Sometimes I'll catch my mistakes as I go. So that's looks like a moon. Okay. yellow plate just hangs right on it but that's kind of flimsy I bet that's gonna get locked in oh yeah it will <laughs> a couple of these will do it huh Stick those right on there looks like a little ship in a way that was a moon but oh, I could be wrong um, yeah this is this is really finished off I mean we're just using all sorts of plates and bricks with bowels in here Oh, I forgot. There, there's the sticker I got to put on. There's a sticker that goes on that. Well, let me get that out of the way. And that is sticker number seven. Does it matter which way it goes on? 
can't tell because it's red. It looks like it goes on this way, but it looks backwards. All right. It's a picture of a bunny. I'll show you here in a second. And they want me to put it there. Well, that's really crooked. Yes, that means I'll have to drop the value down because if I'm spending time putting stickers on a set, I want to build, not stick. Now, sticking is something I do when I have to pay my bills. I have to mail it off. Okay, see, there's the bunny right there. That should have been printed. All right, so now we got that out of the way. Um, there's an ingot here, and two little plates with bow go here. Fill that right in. Okay, get that done. And yeah, there you go. Okay, I see where this goes. You gotta flip this thing like this. And we're not done yet. We're going to have to fill, finish this thing up some more. <laughs> I mean, we're talking all bowels. That's all you're doing is bowels and arches pretty much in this one here. I'm going to put this one right here. I mean, this is really finished off. I bet he can't finish off these little holes here, but... Uh, there we go. And some of these cloud pieces. See, it's starting to come apart a bit. Does it matter where those go? Okay. That's how it's supposed to be. So what you do is you want to line it up these two spots here with this. Stick that on there. Okay. And we're still not done yet. Now we got to make some gold frilly things to put on here. So this just does that. They just hang there. All right, I thought. Something like that, where they're inwards a little bit. I think it's just meant to look like it's touching. And we got to stick this here. I think that's what this Technic brick was for all this time. And it just, you know, there we go. Didn't really mess that up. So I think a minifigure is supposed to stand here or something. There's supposed to be somebody that rides on the top of there. Okay. Now we got to take some of these. And these are metallic gold. And these just sit in here. I hate to think something's going to spin on that and scratch those tiles up. I bet that's what's going to happen. Yes, I like to save those. I probably will just do that. We still have a bunch of pieces left, so I must have forgot something. Because we got a bunch. Let's go back and check. Oh, I forgot the front part of this thing right here. It must have just completely slipped my mind. Alright. Yeah, I just... Oh, no wonder why two pages are stuck together. I think... Okay, yeah. Okay, there, there were two pages stuck together. Okay, well, let's get going on that front part then. Maybe I skipped the whole section of the book, because I'm just... Okay, I stopped here, and I didn't go any further. So I must have just skipped it. So let's just do that real quick here. And no... I'm not going to remove the mistakes out of here. Some people do that. Um, the reason why I don't do that, if you're just if you if you don't know how I do things, it, you know, 
if what good would it do you if I remove this the mistakes? You know, if I make a mistake, maybe that's just because I didn't read the manual all the way, or just wasn't paying attention. So now I can tell you, you better pay attention. So I can't tell you it's going to be an easy build. <laughs> you just have to watch your steps here. So at least I'm not lying to you and telling you it's easy. You know, it's probably easy for some. Somebody like myself who's got my own issues to deal with, you know, learning disability wise. Um, you know, sometimes I'll jump the gun on a few things. Let's just go back and fix it. There we go. And. Um, I got a power cord that runs right behind there and it's kind of ticking up against the wall and it's annoying the living daylights out of me. Alright. Wait, 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 before I do something stupid here. These go here and then these go here. So, yeah. It's the little pieces after a while where my hands just get so tired. And I noticed something. Oh, no, that's right. Oh, this piece is on backwards. All right, well, we'll fix that right now. I was looking at it thinking, that doesn't make any sense. So we'll just pop that off there. Flip that around. And also, showing the mistakes. If you make a mistake like I did, you can see how easy it is to correct it. So I got off lucky there, you know. So like I said, there's some out there who will filter that out. You know, look at me, I don't make any mistakes. Well, I do. I'm not, I'm not bashful about it either. <laughs> That's the whole part about this hobby is to have a little fun with it. And just kind of enjoy it. You make a mistake, well, we're not gluing it together, so it's not going to hurt anything. You know, just fix it up and move on. Um. We've got one extra hot dog. These are pretty fancy floats. Alright. And I believe that that's it for the front. Yeah, okay. That's pretty much it. I don't ever remember them giving me an extra gold rod and stuff like that, but I can't find anything else for those. I think I may have nailed that. It's just mostly small stuff. Let's see what the next uh, thing is. So I'm just going to do one building guide in each installment. We've got another minifigure to do and stuff like that. So let me pick all those up there and save my progress. You never know. Let's go ahead and tackle bag three. Yes, these little containers hold a lot of parts. <laughs> Okay, so we got to put together a minifigure. Nothing new there. I think this set has tons of figures here we got to put together. Matter of fact, uh, I see two heads. That's got me worried. All right, so let's find the other minifigure. We got a bunny one right here. So what I try to do is I'm trying to pull out all the figure pieces. Is you know, I hate putting together minifigures, to be honest with you guys and gals. Jay, how? Minifigures are fun. Well, I want to build big things, not little things. That's why I got removed from that one community. <laughs> I'm a mock builder, not a minifig builder. Well... I don't know where it's at. It's a little scarf, a little red scarf. Oh, there it is. Put that on him. I'm putting everything together the way that the book tells me. This is a double-sided one, too. So. And these scarf pieces are pretty good for winter. It's got the uh, side parted hair. He's got the camera. I got to put the camera together now. There's a lot of printed pieces in here too. I wish the whole thing was printed, but we're going to be 
We can't wish our luck. We can't push our luck that hard. <laughs> Okay, there you go. And after that, we gotta do the, the, the gal next. So she just has the, the headgear. Get a white, get a white torso. There you go. There you go. So that's what she looks like there. And she's holding some kind of a lantern. So let me get that piece together real quick. Get comfy. Okay, there's a mini figurehead in here that's actually printed. So we got the bunny symbol on the mini figurehead. Okay. And there is a gold clip. You see, I'm tripping over big pieces to do the small stuff here. I'm going to have the bunny face in outside, and then it just goes like that. It just looks better, and I kind of wish you could put batteries or something and make these light up. It'd be cool. So she's holding on to that. So um, I don't want to mess around with mini figures all for the whole thing, but there you go. There's the two figures. Pretty cool. Set those back there. Well, you can take a nap if you want. <laughs> okay, so now we got to start adding more things to the float. And we're actually building mirrors to go around these corners here. So what they're doing is they're doing these opposing sides, and then they come back and do that. So what I'm going to do real quick is... We're going to just blast through that as fast as I can. So I'm going to start grabbing these out of here. So like I said, I got all these big plates and stuff. And I'm... Let me flip these this way here. And I'm tripping over the big stuff to get to the tiny little pieces first that I can barely pick up with my big fingers. Okay. And then the... Wait, we're supposed to start with the leaf first. So, get some gold leaves. And we can start putting this together here. Yeah, I mean, it's all little stuff. It's, I'd say probably a good, probably 60, 70% of this is going to be just tiny little parts. Just little stuff. Stuff that you can, uh, a young one could easily digest. So yeah, it's, this is obviously not meant for, for little ones to mess around with. Maybe adults too. <laughs> okay, so these. So I can't even pick these up. They're just hard to pick up. And not sure how that's going to go, so I'm going to line it up with the top of that there. And then there's a stud flower that goes on the top of this. So before I put this on the float, I'm going to go ahead and just make these real quick and get them done. And then I'll stick them on last. I'm going to nail this booger out right now. I just want to... Um, I don't want to just do something outside. You know. I do these outside, but I have some pretty unpleasant neighbors. So I will not do that. Alright. I'm probably somebody's dream neighbor because I don't really have loud parties and I don't do all that inappropriate stuff. Okay, so these go right here. It feels like that's barely hanging on. I think it just goes like this. Well, it kind of shows it going like that, so maybe. And uh, this one goes over here. They go on top of these things right here. So, like that. Then the last two go here. 
really fancy. Look like little bows, like they tied, like a little ribbon being tied off. So I'll stick that right there. Just get some of these in some holiday colors. You'd really be able to make this into a holiday bill. Well, that took a while just to make that little thing, and we skipped that because there it is again. And we got to make two more of something. We're about 73% done with this book. So now I got to slide that off to the side. Now we got to build some other stuff here. You notice I've, I haven't really gotten to any of the big stuff yet. It's all small stuff. Look at all these big pieces. And I'm just doing all the small um, little things first. Is that a gold one? I don't really see any of those in there. Oh, there they are. Alright, then we got a stick. <laughs> we're gonna stick a, we're gonna stick a hot dog on the top and one of these little streamer things at the bottom. So I got these. Where's the hot dogs at, huh? I mean, kind of going to be honest, I'm getting tired of putting together little parts in this one. You notice I'm not going fast. I'm going very slow because half the time I'm hunting for parts in here. Just trying to place all that together. These go on the bottom. They just fit inside that little area there. And I'm not sure how those go on. That doesn't even want to fit in there. There, oh, there it goes. There's really not much holding that on there. It's kind of wiggly. I'm going to mess around with that too much because I don't want that piece to break. Break off and then I got a bit of a problem there. Alright, and then those... Um, okay, I see what the hot dogs are for. Hot dogs are just do this right here. They go inside those clips right there. And the hot dogs are meant to give it more of a three-dimensional look. Then we can just take these and just kind of rotate them around and make them look like it's got, like it's blowing in the wind. Okay, um, I don't see where these go. Okay, I see where they go. Okay, it's going to get kind of confusing here. So, this, um, only you have to have good eyesight, but you're really going to have to pay attention where some of this stuff goes. So, we're still doing little pieces, so we're going to have to scoot all the big, large stuff out of the way. And I'm going to find some gold studs. I mean, this is detail here. And we got some printed tiles. These are printed. We're going to set those right here. Now, they just make those in square form, make great linoleum tiles for like an older style home. And then there's some hollow studs that go in there. So, I got to find another one of those. In fact, that was the only big piece that I used. That stud just does not want to go down in there. Okay. And three more tiles. Okay, so they're like little stepping stones. That's pretty cool. I'll show you here. See? Pretty cool. Yep, I'm tripping over more small stuff. Thought maybe a minifigure would be there, but no. Oh, okay, I see what they're doing. Okay, um, let's build a couple of these first. So I need to get this here, and we need two of those handles with stud. A couple of these. Those are handles with stud there. And two more of those tiles that are printed. And they just shove them on there. It doesn't matter how they go. But I'm going to try to line them up as best I can. And then these go on the back like that. So let me just prepare the other one real quick. Let 
and then these go inside of this plate here. The shafts go in there. It's like that. Okay. So that takes care of that right now. All right. Now we got to build the bunny. So now we're building the big stuff. That was it. That's a little. That's the last of the little stuff there. Okay. Let's slide that off the side. This part, I think, sits right on top of that. So now we get to use big pieces, finally. We're going to place a couple of these crisscross to make this into a platform. And what am I tripping over here? I got a lot of Lego sets over in this corner. And then we're going to start on that now. Making sure I get my joints right. Sometimes it depends on where the creases or the joints are at. It's, it can be critical, so you got to be careful where you place some stuff at. Okay. So there's the base of things. And looks like this is probably the start of the bunny. I think it's the year of the bunny. So that's probably what we're doing here. And then I'm just going to jump ahead a little bit. Probably regret it later on, but um, all right, these are not supposed to go in next, but I did anyways. <laughs> you don't have to follow the instructions all the way. If you're, you know, you don't have to. You don't have to follow, but you may make a mistake. You, know, you already saw how many mistakes I've made, and I left them in the video. See, all I'm tripping over right now is, you know, these are kind of like the smaller stuff that I normally don't ever really build with in my own stuff. So it's kind of just getting around it here. Okay, flip it over. Oh, I need some inverted ones. Yeah, so these type of sets, though, they do come with some pretty unique parts and some pretty crazy uh, building strategies here. Some really good stuff that you could use on your own stuff. See how that doesn't want to go in? That was just fighting me. And then this goes right here. Okay. All right, we already put those in there. We just got to put the red Technic bricks on top with the cross hole. I think they would have just had those built in with that, but they didn't. And then we got to wrap it around with some arches. Well, we got to have to prepare them first. So at least it's like a medium sized part, but then we're adding little parts to it. So it's going to be another long step here. Because now I got to fish for one by one plates. Like I got to fish them out of the pile. I'm going to need a bunch of those. If I find them, I'm just going to start putting things together here. And then we'll start with the back. I kind of wish I could build this stuff more on my own time, or I can just take my time and just really enjoy the enjoy the build. You know, okay, recording. <laughs> Didn't see the red light. I was like, oh, is it recording? The, the red light's on the LCD, so I can't really tell until I put my hand over it. It's like, oh, okay, it is. Every piece that I put in is one less I have to trip over. There we go. And then after that, it's just two jumper plates. There we go. Um... And we need a four stud long. I think something's going to fit inside there. I think this thing probably bobs up and down or something. It'd be kind of weird for the bunny to spin. Well, out of all the colors, and it's got lime green in here too. <laughs> I think this probably goes in there. Oh wow, this is printed. I don't know, I may have it upside down. Alright. 
So there it is. Let's say I'm missing a piece, but no, there it is. And then um, okay, get rid of some more of these little pieces here. And one of these, and then we have to fish in one of these in here. So we're doing a lot of prep work here. And we have a slope. Wow, these are very rare. You don't even see these anymore. Like these 25 degree ridge tiles. I mean, those are very rare. Yeah, that's, that's unusual seeing it in a modern set. I rarely ever see those, especially in just regular basic red. Okay, there, and then on the back is just a two by six plate. Boy, look at all the, it's just got all the little pieces we have to put on that. And it looks something like this, like the book. So, it does. And then, we're not done with this yet. I think this is just some kind of support for it. And doing this white builds on a white table is of no help. Oh wow, look, a two by three red brick. Very rare. Like I said, you don't some of these pieces you don't see in modern sets anymore. Okay. And we are not done yet. What is that there? Some of those signs. And they're supposed to be angled like that anyways. I'm trying to find another one here. And then, let me just stick a 2 by 3 plate instead of two individual 1 by 3 plates. Are we doing the J defer and cutting down on lots? Is that what we're doing? All right. If we get the signs, i got to put one of these on top. I see where it's going to go on the float, but we got to get this done first. All right, this goes here. This plate doesn't really show it very easily. I thought it went next to the other one. No, it goes right on top of those little frying pans. So um, now I gotta find the. Oh, that's an inverted one. I need a regular. Yeah, you'll get confused with all the parts in here. Like, there's just a bunch of pieces. Let's get this big thing out of the way first. There's a piece that goes here. And I don't see it yet because either, oh, there it is, I'll say. There we go. Put that right there. And then that's it. We're done. And wait a minute. We forgot to put one piece in here. It's this guy. It goes right in here. Glad I saw that. And then this thing just sits in here like this. So what I'm gathering is this shaft probably gets shoved in there. Like this. I think this thing just goes up and down. When you're moving around, it looks like it's hopping. Yeah, well, looks like the book. <laughs> we're getting there. I mean, we're doing something. It's, it's looking better. I mean, I'm like 80% done, 80, 85%. Let's just... Hammer this booger out, huh? And get it out of the way. I mean, so far, this is a very uh, interesting build. And like I said, if you're a mock builder like myself, you know, a lot of these building tricks come in handy. But that must be the tail. Reviews only help, though, if the uh, mock builder is interested. Stick that on there. That's how I did that. You know, and so I'm gonna say that this is gonna be a very nice self-contained build that you can put into a city. Um, so obviously, definitely, this is gonna very have a very, very, very high drop in value, and then we got a mirror here, so we're gonna mirror these out. So I'd say a very high drop in city value for this set so this would just be something you would just 
you would build and you would just set it in your city. You wouldn't have to modify it or do anything to it. Uh, just set it in and you're done. And that's uh, what I call a drop-in value, like a city drop-in value. Like, how is it going to be? How is it going to be in a city? Is is it something you're going to have to modify, or is it just out of the box? You build, you drop it in. And I would say that this is probably one of those sets that you can just build right out of the box, drop it in your city, and you're done. You know. So, yeah, uh, drop-in value is pretty high on this one here. The only thing that's, if this, now honestly though, so far with the build experience and stuff like that, if this set here was all printed, just 100% printed, this would, so far with my build experience with this, this would be an easy nine, maybe nine and a half, maybe 10 at the very, maybe a nine and nine, and, maybe a nine at the very minimal though, but 10 would be good. Stickers just detract the value for me, but. You know, especially the price of Lego. Okay, those must be the ears. No, those are not the ears. Okay. And there's two balls that go on those too. Okay, I forgot to put those on there. I need to get some of these in other colors. Okay. And then... Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, I was confused. I thought they went like this. No, they go under here like that. Okay. And then um, they go in here. So they use the number one plate for that to anchor down the arms to it. So now you can just do it like that there. So now they're free. Looks a lot better. Okay. Now we got to make some scary looking head. Alrighty, well, we're getting there. <laughs> we're getting there. I really can't wait to share this video with you guys and gals. You can just kind of just sit back and just like, oh man, he's going to have to build that whole thing. Not in one sitting, of course, but. And a couple of those. That's always a nice color, that uh, medium blue. Yeah, I'm going to say that this set, I'm, like I said, and, you know, Jay, you're just saying that because, you know, they, Lego gives this to you. No, I could be doing tutorials right now. I'd rather do that. But for right now, though, this is a really good build experience. So, if you're, like I said, if you're looking at getting this set for your own collection or just for your city, you know, I, I would say yes. You know, this is, you are getting a very good build and it's a collaborative build too so you can have a bunch of buddies and you can knock the set out probably in an hour or so it takes longer for me because I'm showing you pieces that I've been working on and stuff um, all right not a lot left we got a little bit more <laughs> I'm just trying to find this one piece. There it is. And there's an inverted 2x2. Two two. Oh, there it is. Alrighty. Okay, it goes like that. And I'm looking for. Okay, two of those plates with the round thing. I don't see those here at all I see one I've been thinking about making a table that I can flip over I mentioned this in a few videos ago um, where I can flip the table over have one side white which is what I have here and then flip the other side over and have it wood grained what I'm thinking about doing with the white side is not have white painted but take a piece of thick tempered glass Put some plexiglass underneath it. So it had to be thick, and then just puts and just have LED lighting under here, so this will glow as well. Um, I don't have to depend on an overhead light. 
just been kind of toying around with that idea. I mean, this goes here. Let's see, how does that go on there like that? Okay. All right. And, uh, you know what? Maybe this is where that Minecraft got their evil bunny from, but they got some red eyes in here. Like that. I'm just going to set the other one on the other side here. And then they're surrounded by some 1x2x2 one by two by two corner plates. I put one here and one here. Red, I don't know why. <laughs> the killer bunny. Alright. Start placing all those on there. Ooh. Yeah, this little stuff after a while, my hands get pretty tired. Looks more like a mouse or a rat. <laughs> uh, that's a, it's the same thing on the other side, too, so I already assumed, and I looked at the manual, and yes, I was correct. Um, oh, there it is. Okay. That takes care of that. We're almost done, too. we got to put some dishes on this thing now. So this is probably to give the head a little bit more of a contour. It looks more like... If it was gray, it looked more like Splinter from... <laughs> <laughs> the Ninja Turtles. <laughs> That's what it looks like. Not a rabbit. It looks more like Splinter. Alright, put that on the top there. It must be its little, little hat. And then the head. That's it. The head goes in here. May want to hold right underneath here. And then pop it right there. I'm going to bring this down here, have the head like that. Well, okay, so... That can't be Chucky from Chuck E. Cheese. Alright, we got to build some ears. So these ears are mirrored, so I'm just going to breeze through those. And we have one of these left, so I don't know if that goes to anything important or not. So let's just, uh, let me build the ears. Okay, so... Just the way it is. I'm going to do it like I normally do. Like the big boy. This is a big boy set. So we're just going to get through it real quick. Some of these pieces look pretty familiar. Like I've done this before. Like on my motorhomes and stuff. Fifth wheels. Um, yeah, I still haven't. I don't know if I filmed it by the time I've done this, but the uh, the, the uh, Ambassador Network video, you know, my experiences so far. First, I got to film all this stuff first, just to get a little caught up. I want to have a four log, not a backlog. Actually, I want a backlog of videos ready to be prepared, and then when I'm done, I can just upload them when I need them. And yes, they are backed up in several different locations. <laughs> Well, that doesn't go there. They do make a... I think they make a tile now that's like that. It's one piece, not two individual pieces. I'm going to take this and straighten these up here a bit. There. There we go. And that's it for the, for the ears. So, it sits like this. This is the one we just finished up. And it goes back here. And you're going to have to really just work those in slow. You don't want to just jab them down in there because you may break something. This thing's going to want to fall down right now. So, um, okay, we're done with that. And we're almost done here. We're at the very end. I see stars. So, we're getting close. Then we got to stick O Chucky on here. And. So, 
this thing here goes in the middle like this and it doesn't show it connected but it shows it connected a step later so it just says so step 128 you just set it on here oh wait a minute it just sits inside okay you're really going to have to um i'm going to just hold underneath and press that down you want to press on its feet don't press on on the top or anything it'll go right in and then this thing here um well, the only time it wants to fall in, so you may want to finger this up so it gets to its maximum height. And you're going to take this cross axle and you're going to jab that right at the very top hole. I'll show you. Well, this thing wants to be a problem, but see right there? Yeah, you can just see this thing's going to be a... This thing's being a bitch right now. See, like right there? That's where you want that to be. Okay. And these little rail pieces are just kind of annoying me. So I'm, I'm assuming now, let me get the hands out of the way. I think this thing's supposed to hop. Let me just do it by hand here. Yeah, that's what it's supposed to do. Okay. Pretty cool. And then these last two pieces here. And this goes on the back like this. Make sure your gold side is down. It sticks right on the shaft here. Right in here. Right inside that inverted tile. Just trying to make sure that... Well, his arm fell off. <laughs> Okay, something's going on here. So, yeah, now we're getting to the point of everything falling off on this thing. Okay, I think that I think it's supposed to look like he's holding on to this. One of these just doesn't want to bend, so I'm not going to force it any more than I have to. And there it is. So that's what it looks like, and that's pretty much what I have. And so far, um, just from my assessment from doing build one, I don't know how long this video s segment is, but this was not a bad build. And we have a bunch of little extra pieces and such, so... Stuff that I could always use for my own collection. But so far, I am happy. Let's take a look here. I still have a bunch of stickers left. That's got me worried. But now we're done with manual one. And this is self-contained. You know, you don't have to... You don't have to... Um, you know, this thing does roll on the table. You see his head bobs up and down. You got... You see, you build the four mini fig, No, five mini figures, Six mini figures. Okay, you got six figures. These are the top heavy ones. That's why they have the bases. And, yeah, I mean, I think honestly, though, so far, and I'm not lying, I'm really pleased with this set. Well, you can take a nap all you want, and you got the brick separator, too. So, yeah, I uh, hope everyone enjoyed this installment of the... Uh, I don't even know what it's called. Let me go get the box. <laughs> It is the Lunar New Year Parade by Legos, set number 80111. And this, stay tuned for the second installment.